Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacy, and I'm so happy to see you here today. If you are new to my channel, I am a Twitch streamer. I am a cat mom. I am a weeb. I am a nerd. I am a gamer and I love learning new things. And so the entire purpose of my channel is for me to broaden my horizons in the realm of music and listen to songs, bands, and artists I have never heard before. And so today we are continuing our Pink Floyd journey and we're going to be listening to Echoes live at Pompeii. Now, this has been highly requested ever since I started my Pink Floyd journey on this channel. And so we are going to dive right in and I am so excited to hear what this is all about. So just a little disclaimer before you begin, I am not a musically educated person. I have never been formally trained in music or trained at all. So if I say something that is incorrect, please let me know in the comments, but also please be nice. I am learning and you guys have been the best senseis on this journey. And also remember, if you like this content, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps growing content creators like me. And so without further ado, let's get into the reaction. Always excited to listen to some Pink Floyd, so let's get started. And this is a long video. We're in it for the long haul today, 24 minutes. Lots of Pink Floyd, I'm, I'm super excited. Hmm, this is interesting. This is a really cool arena. I love historical sites like this. That base. Ooh, I'm excited. This is a cool spot, man. <laughs> I've always wanted to go to Pompeii myself. Everything is green and suffering 
guitar, man. really love that part. So I have a few thoughts so far. This is a wild ride. <laughs> I am loving it though. This is a really cool song so far. The vocals are really captivating. I'm really loving the soft vocals so far. The harmonization is impeccable. Uh, the drumming is also out of this world. That, th that drumming, oh my God really really good and that guitar is really mesmerizing the ding 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 oh my gosh i think i could hear that all day this is a really really cool song and i love that we're not even like halfway done with it yet we have so much left to go i also just want to say it's interesting watching a younger pink floyd i have never seen them young before i've only seen them in the pulse concert i've seen their music videos i've heard the studio versions of their songs but i haven't seen them perform live as a young band and it's really cool to see i love it it's so cool and refreshing actually it really is a treat to see them back in their prime or when they were younger i'm loving i'm loving it it's so cool so let's keep going the drums man Mm, the bass.
I love this part. <laughs> That bass is in my soul. Drumming in this is killer. Ah. Blowing my mind. So funky in a way. happen next I don't know what's going to happen next. <laughs> interesting visuals in this. I have 
to say, for being live at Pompeii, the acoustics are pretty incredible. They sound like they're in a studio. theater. I want to know why they chose to do this in Pompeii, you know? It's an amazing historical site, but why this song? Why here? Wow, that's crazy. from London playing in Pompeii Day, man the drummer is <laughs> chef's kiss you you agrees Pink Floyd. guitar as well. drumming is so creative in this. The whole song is so creative, but the drumming is really capturing my attention.
the drumming. in reverse right now. I think that's what's happening. Cool. 
What an introduc- ju What an introduction. Wow, I can't talk. Introduction. And what an ending to this song. That was really, really cool how they ended, how they started there. Really, really cool. The entire concept is awesome. I love that they did this at Pompeii. Like I said before, I've always wanted to go to Pompeii. But, you know, that was because of the historical significance and the tragedy of Pompeii. But now I want to go there because of that and also because Pink Floyd played there. So, yeah, like, I think I can go where history was made with Pink Floyd as well. <laughs> this was a wonderful ride. What a wonderful masterpiece. I love this experience. It is such an interesting composition w b between the vocals the amazing harmonization with the vocals the interesting guitar playing and the drumming oh my gosh the drumming honestly kind of stole the show for me i really really enjoyed the drumming in this and how versatile it was it was it was just so dynamic and i loved it it, it kind of stole the show for me in that way it, it was it was interesting and captured my attention throughout the entire performance. It is really hard to describe this song and describe this experience. It's it's such a unique song and how it begins and how it ends and everything in between. The visuals were also interesting, but the music is obviously the focal point and what grabs your attention. It was so out of this world the the music the sounds that they were producing for us to hear were seriously out of this world and kind of like an out of body experience and sounds i've never really heard in songs before so i really love the uniqueness and creativity there it was just a unforgettable ride that's for sure i can really appreciate this piece for what it is i mean I feel like it's a song I can listen to over and over and over again because it is such an experience. And I cannot believe the quality of this live performance. They sound absolutely incredible. Like I would think, I was thinking like this was the studio version multiple times. It sounds impeccable. And the whole entire scenery being in Pompeii with the tragedy there and the fact that they decide to sing there and choose this song to sing there is really interesting to me. And I want to I really want to understand the concept behind this performance and why they chose this place, why this song, what is the significance? It's it's all really interesting and I have so many questions that I want to have answered, but at the same time, I, I really enjoyed this experience and if I ever get to go to Pompeii, it won't be just for the historical significance, but also because Pink Floyd played there and had a amazing, iconic performance of Echoes there in the amphitheater. It's so interesting how the scenery, although tragic, went with the music. It went with the flow of the song and the energy of it. The vibe of the song is really cool too, especially with the vocals. It's so, so, so interesting. All of it from beginning to end. This felt like multiple songs in one and I love long songs like this where it feels like they are just putting a bunch of different songs together, but they go so well. They flow amazingly. The transitions between tunes or beats, I don't really know the right vocabulary for this, was flawless. You know, I I just thoroughly enjoyed it and it kept me on my toes. I never really know I never really knew what was coming next. And I love that. I was like, oh God, where is this song going to go? It already started off very interesting and it ended very interesting. It ended where we started, which kind of explains why the song is called Echoes. Like an echo is, you know, you create a sound and it kind of bounces back to you. It's kind of reflective in a way. Uh, I don't know the exact definition of an echo, but I think you all know what I'm getting at. It's so cool to see that the song kind of bounced back and repeated itself from the beginning to the end. And it's a cool, very cool concept. I feel like this is a song I'm going to need to 
listen to over and over and over again, like an echo, just on repeat. It's so captivating and interesting and such a wild ride. I feel like there are so many facets of this song I can focus on in itself. It's just 24 minutes of an experience, a very unique experience that I don't know if I can get anywhere else. I love Pink Floyd. I love the experiences they give us. I love the music they create. It's all so amazing and unique and wow does the music sound good in Pompeii I can't get, get I can't get over the sound quality it's so crazy I I'm in awe so wh whoever's idea it was to play in Pompeii you are a genius let me tell you I truly feel like there is nothing like this and I really do need to give props to every single person in Pink Floyd that created this masterpiece especially the drummer. You know, I usually am captivated by David's guitar and his singing and everything that comes with that, but the drumming in this absolutely slayed. And I could not get over how fluid and dynamic it was. The music is just incredible. Everything about this is just incredible. It's so cool. I'm I'm going to have to listen to this again for sure. So iconic, I think. Thank you all for being patient as I finally got around to reacting to Echoes. This was such an amazing experience and I can see why you guys were pushing me to react to it. It really is so, so cool and just displays Pink Floyd's talent immensely, especially the young Pink Floyd. I Again, I've never seen them young before. I've seen them during the Pulse concerts and I've heard them in the studio and I've seen the music videos, but I've never seen them live young and wow, are they good. I feel like even with the Pulse concert being, you know, 30, 40 years in the future from when this was, I... I'm so impressed with how talented these musicians are, that how they're able to not even miss a beat, skip a beat. Their talent is still just as if they were in the 70s. And holy cow, the Pulse concert is amazing to display how they have just stayed with the test of time and they continue to be iconic and legendary and just beautiful musicians. Such a gift to this world. I'm so happy I'm a Pink Floyd fan now. <laughs> so guys, I think that will do for today's reaction. Thank you all again so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys are interested in my other content, please be sure to check out the links in the description box. And if you guys are interested in seeing me live on Twitch, I am live right now at twitch.tv slash stacyrpg, where you can see moments like this. Symbols of power born. That sounds stupid. <laughs> Just... <laughs> That's what I am. Wow, Amy. <laughs> Sorry. It just sounds like more lame than the other ones. <laughs> the link to my Twitch is also in the description box. And last but not least, I want to give a big shout out to my patrons. Thank you, patrons, so much for your contributions and support to my channel. You guys mean the absolute world to me, and you guys are helping me reach my goals of hopefully one day becoming a full-time content creator. So thank you all again for your contributions. Well, guys, thank you for the experience, and thank you for watching this. I seriously appreciate it as well, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.